What's up guys, we got a brand new update today in Call of Duty Mobile, but where's the new content? Well, we got some answers today. Also, we talk about the COD Mobile Championship. So guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now for daily COD Mobile videos. Let's get into it. Well, the update dropped yesterday as I'm recording this, and every time there's a new update, always the same question. Some of you guys don't have the update how to get the new update guys you have to go download it manually so go to the play store go to the app store search call of duty mobile and download the update yourself so anyways brand new hud and also a new events tab not everything's there right now the new operator some of the stuff they announced is not in the game yet some content will arrive early may more content will be here on mid may and some other stuff end of the month now checking out the update real quick and the new layout so starting with the season pass the new one's not here yet the season will start in two days may 1st or april 30th depending on where you live but we still have two days in game on the timer so uh, if you guys still have stuff to do guys uh, you might want to do it now because it's almost over now they also changed the event tab right here uh it used to be all uh, lined up from on the left tab now they split it in three categories featured daily and more and guys check it out what we got here a new friends invite uh event and guys i don't know if you remember the last one but you basically have to send your code to some new players that don't have a code mobile account and they have to create a new account use your code and on top of that they need to level up up to level 25 to give you some points and as you gain points you'll get the rewards at the top and the end reward this time is the arctic 50 magic bull guys i'm not doing this again but if you guys remember last time a lot of people had to create like 10 accounts or 8 accounts and level all their accounts because it's tough to find new players so many players already play this game so uh but yeah you can get a new ak117 flowing bronze uh, I, I'm not going to do it again, guys. Now, the middle one is daily events, and we got something cool. Another daily calendar. So, you need to play the game every day. Claim your rewards. And check it out, guys. At day number 24, we have a soldier skin for... I mean, they rarely give just free soldier skins like that. And this one's an epic also. It's the Nomad Druid. Type in the comments, guys. What do you think about the Nomad Druid? I'm not saying my opinion. Just cannot wait to read your comments. But hey, it's free. So we got a free soldier skin on the daily login calendar. Pretty excited for that. Some weapons, of course, and some skins for Battle Royale. So I like what they did here. Daily missions. Well, again, usually it's on the season pass, but we're going to have daily stuff. Uh, log in for or stay online for 20 minutes and get uh, two one shot, one kill games um so i don't know if it's gonna affect the battle pass but we already talked about the battle pass expect some big changes now no more tasks on the battle pass just xp you will gain some progression uh, by playing the game and at the end of your games you'll have some xp going towards your battle pass the new rust map is here and you have to try it out because we need to play five team that match five domination five hard point and then again get some kills in all the game modes and you're gonna get some rare m4 bandit and i saw that one on reddit before and it's actually pretty cool if you guys like the m4 all right now where's the rest of the stuff well there was a community update uh yesterday on reddit and they say everything that's going to happen this month guys so let's start with the game modes first of all there's gonna be the 1v1 game mode available mid-may guys so two more weeks before we can do the 1v1 duels uh and the saloon map saloon map is not here yet so two more weeks guys for that one capture the flag should be here very soon probably at the start of the season capture the flag they say early may so maybe next week or the week after and it's gonna be special it's not gonna be an actual flag that you carry uh, you guys going to be protecting and trying to capture uh, crates of gold. So it should be interesting, a different feel to that one. I cannot wait to try capture the flag in Cut Mobile. Now, another game mode that was announced and is not here yet, Kill Confirm is going to be here early May. So once again, one week or two weeks max. 
probably next week. Kill Confirm, uh, classic game mode, of course. Uh, they talk about the Battle Pass update once again, and they confirm once again. They will be removing tasks, and they will just giving you XP for playing normally. You will see your XP at the end of your games, and it will go on your Battle Pass. You will see some progression. The new event system I just shown you a minute ago, so I kind of like how it's displayed, but still don't forget to go check your events every day because you got some daily stuff to do still. Now on top of that, the monthly calendar I did show also already. Now how about the new release? Where's the Annihilator? Uh, it's going to be available on the free battle pass. I did talk about it yesterday on my video. We're going to get a brand new operator skill. It's a one shot, one kill weapon. It's also going to be in Battle Royale, pretty sure we said that. But anyways, we have to unlock it on the free Battle Pass. So everyone can get it, but you need to play first and try to unlock it. Now, the new Battle Royale class, Poltergeist, guys, late May. So end of the month, at least three weeks before we can use that new uh, skill in Battle Royale. Uh, I don't know how we're going to be able to unlock it, but usually it's a weekly event. Uh, usually you have to play some battle royale to unlock it so we will see uh, how they decide to release it should be something like that and once again poltergeist and battle royale you'll be invisible for a very short uh, period of time it should be very interesting guys especially in solos cannot wait to see how it actually works but i think it's gonna be very short now the cryo bomb also uh, gonna be available in mid may so at least two weeks i'm expecting uh, it's a new tactical grenade for multiplayer. It's going to freeze your opponent or just slow them down. And again, we don't have a lot of footage, so we don't know if it's going to be actually good. But still, always exciting to get new stuff in the game. Now, new Battle Royale changes. They posted that screenshot. They say, expect new stuff in Battle Royale. The aerial platform was removed, but they say it will be coming back soon. And every time you play a game of Battle Royale, the aerial platform could be somewhere a uh, different location and some games is not going to be there. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not, and it could be at different places. So that's going to be interesting. They also say they made some changes to the platform and expect some surprises soon also. So they always try to make Battle Royale interesting. They do some limited events, some limited stuff in Battle Royale. Added new guns, guys. Look for S36 and GKS in Battle Royale now. Now guys, you can check out the Reddit for the patch notes. There's a bunch of stuff about the new update. Uh, I'm not going to go and read all of that because there's a lot. But once again, uh, new game modes coming this week, next week, and end of the month. All right, talking about the COD Mobile Championship, guys. We were supposed to have some news today or yesterday. Nothing new, guys. But one question I get every day is how do you register for the COD Mobile Championship? It's going to start tomorrow, guys. COD Mobile Championship 2020 qualifiers four weekends we'll have a chance to qualify now what was previously mentioned is you're gonna register right in the game okay there's gonna be a button somewhere for the cod mobile championship everyone asking me how to register you can't it's not started yet you have to wait for the start uh probably friday saturday and sunday you can play as soon as you click your next 10 games will count in rank so don't click if you're not ready to play hard. You can warm up. You can play some rank. And when you're ready to go, you register in the tournament. And then your next 10 games will give you points. You need to reach 80 points to qualify. So check my previous video. I explain everything about the rewards and the stuff like that. Uh, the format also. Um, but yeah, guys, you cannot start until it's actually live. So just wait a few days. And the next four weekends will be COD Mobile Championship Qualifiers. So that will be it for today guys we got a lot of stuff to do gonna play some rust all the game modes get some kills check out the new map guys and don't forget to check out your events don't miss a thing guys there's a lot to do and once again don't forget to log in every day if you want to claim that free skin nomad druid once again leave a comment below i want to read your comments guys i cannot wait to read what you have to say about that one nomad druid is here it is free it is an epic so guys, that will be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go download the update right now. Play some Rust until we get the new features. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.